City leaders organized tonight's meeting, noting a few key statistics. The big one, a 42% rise in violent crime over the last 10 years. But for victims and their loved ones, it hurts more than any number could ever describe. We're talking about shootings occurring in our city. At the East Salem Community Center, a hard truth from law enforcement. The rise in shootings and violent crime in Salem is affecting everybody. Neighbors in the audience Wednesday night frustrated and worried about an increase in violent crime in Salem. One of the things I see missing up there is accountability. The communities can overcome their fear so that they can speak. Among those here, Alma Luma Campos. She says her son was recently assaulted while out to lunch. Then when he walked outside the restaurant, uh, some kid um, hit him and they took it to the hospital. The city of Salem commissioned a study to track violence in the city. It showed the number of shootings in Salem has doubled in the last five years and violent crime is up 42 percent since 2014. Salem Police Chief Trevor Womack calls those numbers unacceptable and something they can't fix on their own. We know just from evidence from what works in other cities um, that it takes really a whole of community approach. And so without the community's voice in this process, we can't be as effective as we possibly could. And thank you for all of your work in the past and in the future. Data show most of the city's shootings happen within a five square mile area in northeast Salem. Most of the victims are young men between 18 and 34, and about half are Latino. Community outreach experts hope identifying potential victims will help protect them. Well, we got a chance to go have a conversation with people and say, you're at an incredibly high risk to be shot, and we want to figure out how to come up with a very custom strategy to make sure that we save your life, the lives of your children, and make sure that you live a wonderful and fruitful life. This meeting is part of Salem's Community Violence Reduction Initiative. Mayor Chris Hoy says it's about taking a full community approach to decrease gun violence. That includes growing mentorship programs and other activities for those at high risk. When we don't fill the void with something positive, then something, you know, something negative can unfortunately take hold, and that's what we're seeing out there. Besides the violence itself, many in Salem, like Alma Luma, say the fear of it will be just as hard to address. We're afraid when we go outside because uh, a lot of people, you never know who is who. The city plans to hold several more of these community meetings to explore anti-violence strategies over the coming months. Their goal is to have a solid plan to implement by 2025. In Salem, Catherine Cook, KGW News.